what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video so usually i never feel the need to rebuild the boss and sell this in 2k because obviously they're already super damn good there's really not much i need to do but with recent comments and rumors surfacing around jalen brown i thought it could be fun today to do something with jalen brown as potentially trading him as that's what's been kind of talked about with some of the comments he's made lately so today that's what we're going to be doing in 2k we're going to pretend that jalen brown's comments actually mean something and we're going to be trading jalen brown today from the boston celtics before we get into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like on this one, subscribe if you are new to the channel, as always, greatly appreciated. And I do have to say really quickly, I don't actually believe that Jalen Brown is 100% out the door, and he's like, oh my goodness, Jalen Brown, 100% getting traded, does not matter what team is getting him, it's happening. I'm not saying that at all, I'm literally doing this video, you know, just for entertainment purposes. So, don't take it too seriously, I don't actually think Jalen Brown's getting traded or anything like that. But if we take a look at the roster right now, there's not much I can do as of right now. We're already obviously in the playoff race and we will be in the playoffs. And once we get in the offseason, since Jalen Brown has one year left on his contract, I think the biggest thing is that we all know that the Celtics tried to trade Jalen Brown for Kevin Durant when Kevin Durant was available last offseason. And I still think he feels some type of way about that. Um, we'll see. I don't, I don't really see this happening. Like I said, I definitely think he'll stay a Celtic and probably resign there. But today we are going to go the opposite direction and trade him away. So... I'm going to simulate the rest of the season. You already know that most of the league would have interest in a guy like Jalen Brown, one of the best 3 and D players in the league. Honestly, borderline superstar, all-star, whatever you want to call him. So let's get into the offseason, and uh, we'll go to the playoffs first, and we'll see what we can get in a Jalen Brown return if we were to trade him on the last year of his deal. So Jokic is going to win MVP. Paulo is your rookie of the year. Emeo quickly six-man and B defensive player. Trey Murphy most improved. And Joe Mazzulla, coach of the year. 57 and 25. So I believe we took over that first seed in the East. So the Bucks fell off from it, I guess. We go take a look at the player stats. Yeah, we did take the first seed. So looking at the player stats, he had 29 from Jason Tatum, 27 from Jalen Brown, 14 from Brogdon, 12 from Derek White, and 11 from Marcus Moore, and then 10 from Al Horford, and then uh, 8 and 9 from Robert Williams. So if we take a look at uh, what our rotation is going to look like in the playoffs. Got Smart, Brown, Tatum, Horford, Williams, Brogdon, White, Gallinari, and then uh, Grant Williams. I'm going to shrink this down to a nine rotation because, you know, usually... When you're in the playoffs, you kind of shrink the rotation a little bit. So Grant wants to be the last guy off the bench. And Gallinari actually is playing right now, which I guess is whatever. I'll leave that the way it is. So here we go. Let's even come out here and actually win a championship. You know, usually Celtics somehow, they usually win it. I don't know why I'm saying somehow. They usually win it when you simulate. They do. But when I take them over, we'll see if that changes. So let's simulate current round against Chicago. And we are going to beat them in six. Almost, in a way, got eliminated by Chicago. But now we get Cleveland. We all know Cleveland tough out here in 2k they are tough to beat so i'm a little nervous so many current round and we're going to beat them in five so they're taken care of and now it is time for philadelphia which is going to be the biggest threat here in 2k in real life the celtics usually own the 76ers i'm sorry it's just kind of the truth but let's see if that stays the same here in 2k we're up one to zero they even it up uh we're up two to one can we go up three to one they even it up three to two lead for us yes can we go to the finals Game seven, what's going to happen? And we actually get eliminated in a game seven by the 76ers. Honestly, I'm kind of happy we didn't win here because it would have been kind of weird if like, oh, we just won a championship. Now it's time to trade Jalen Brown. Like, I guess that kind of happened with Kyrie Irving, but or didn't it? I believe it did. So regardless, 76ers beat the Grizzlies. And now it is time to go see what we can get in return for Jalen Brown, which is going to be kind of weird, but that's the video we're doing today. Today's video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a player props app that allows you to choose overs or unders on your favorite players that you enjoy watching each and every day. It is available on mobile or desktop, and this is how it looks. They give you the number, and you're gonna choose over or under on it. They pretty much have every sport you can imagine, whether it's soccer, NFL, NHL. They have a ton of different options. So this is how it works. You choose between two to six players, two being three times your money, all the way up to six players, 25 times your money. Price Picks has just elevated my watching experience to a whole new level. So if you want to sign up, I also have some of my entries as examples here. That way you can kind of see how it works. But if you want to sign up, links in the description. Use code CRUSHABLES. They match your deposit dollar for dollar up to $100. Thank you, Price Picks, for sponsoring today's video. So we are going to start here in the trade finder. It's usually not that good to start in the trade finder when you're trying to make trades for superstars or trying to trade away superstar because obviously you're not getting the best valuable possible. It's usually better to just build your own trade. So first offer, we're going to go through these 18 offers. And uh, if I like one of them, we'll send it through. If I don't, I'll try to, you know, build upon it. So Maxi and Tobias Harris, honestly, Maxi would be a nice piece to bring in return. But we're going to keep looking at the other offers. Middleton, Bobby Portis, 
No, thank you. Zach Levine and Patrick Williams. Zach Levine and the small forward, which is kind of weird, but okay. That's definitely something to think about. Paul George, Roman Powell. No, thank you. Murray and Capella. So we can bring in Murray, but we already have like two guards as it is. And then Capella would be kind of a nice big, but we do have Robert Williams already. So I don't really see the point of that. Tyler Hero, Nikola Jovic. Eh, not really my style. Cam Wimmer, Rozier. Markin and Walker Kessler is definitely kind of fun. Uh, not going to lie to you, but uh, don't know how realistic that would really be for the Jazz to just do that. Because like, why would they do this? Doesn't make a ton of sense. The Nets giving me Mikel Bridges. Okay, that's uh, interesting. Aaron Gordon and KCP. Keontae George Benedict Matherin. Ingram and Dyson Daniels. Jaden Ivey and Jalen Dern. Okay, if we were going more towards a rebuild route, then yeah. But we still have Jason Tatum, so we're still going to try to compete a little bit. Vassell, and you got Anthony Simons and Shaden Sharp. Kind of cool, not going to lie. Not a bad offer by any means. Uh, Jonathan Kamenga and Clay Thompson. And then Amon Thompson and Johnny Davis. So as far as all these trades are concerned, I'm trying to get a package that allows us to get good value for Jalen Brown, but while still competing. And, uh, you know, some of these offers do that for me, but I'm not a big fan of any of them. Which, by the way, whichever trade we do, we're actually going to be doing the reverse side tomorrow. So I'm going to be doing a Jalen Brown rebuild on a different team tomorrow. So look out for that. But I'm going to go try to build my own trade because I'm not a big fan of any of these trades right now. And uh, we'll see if I can come up with something good. I think a lot of us are going to disagree on J what Jalen Brown's trade value might be. I think it's going to be super high, just saying. And then some people might think it's not very high. So we'll just see, you know, where the cards may fall. So I'm not sure if I'm cooking here or not. But uh, yeah, I have kind of an interesting trade here where I'm trying to get Siakam and OG for Jalen Brown. I don't know how uh plausible that really is it might be too crazy to think about but if we were to go Jalen Brown and get just Siakam and OG and the Raptors were like okay Jalen Brown we really believe in his ability he's gonna be a superstar I don't I don't know like he's younger than Siakam I don't know I'm just kind of thinking of something so I really can't gauge on what Jalen Brown would take I'm offering this they don't agree to it which is fair I'll offer you a second and then another second and we got Siakam and OG Ananobi. All right. So we have officially, I think, cashed in on Jalen Brown's trade value to the maximum it could have been. We did, we gave him a couple other pieces as well. We gave him Al Horford on top of that. Pritchard, Cornette, and then two seconds. We got Siakam and OG Ananobi, which I think would be the best return you could possibly want for a team that's still trying to win. So I feel pretty good about what we just got in return for Jalen Brown. Let me know what you thought about that trade. I would totally understand if you hated it, to be honest with you, because I'm not very confident either. But I say this is because Siakam and OG are both on, obviously, uh, expiring contracts. They're both going to be resigned. Same thing with Jalen Brown, but Jalen Brown is much uh, younger than Siakam, which is why I don't know. That's the trade I did. We're living with it now. There's no going back. So if you disagree with it, totally, I totally understand. Don't, don't trust me. I get it. But... That is the one we did, and now we have a pretty interesting squad here in Boston now that we've traded away Jalen Brown and we maximized his value, hopefully to keep competing with Jason Tatum here. So I also need to bring back Grant Williams to be our backup four because he is going to be necessarily needed, and I think that's going to be the only thing we can do. So Jalen Brown requested a trade. We granted his wish, and now he's in Toronto. So Toronto went out and got Jalen Brown. Toronto has done it before. They went out and got Kawhi, so now they have... Uh, you know, Jalen Brown. So a lot of teams would be interested in Brown. And uh, you guys can comment down below if you have a better idea on what Jalen Brown could potentially be traded for. Again, I'm not even banking on the idea that Brown is like 100% being traded anyway. I do need a better backup center because I don't really like what I have right now. So uh, Favors or Omer, like maybe Omer could develop into something pretty nice for us. So I'm going to give him a two-year deal. He might get matched. I don't know. But yeah, yeah, he got matched. So if you have a better idea on what Brown could be traded for, if he were to be traded, Definitely comment down below. I'm definitely open for discussion. So that is going to be our offseason. So that is what we accomplished. Going to player progression, you got Tatum going up to 96. Rob Williams is up to an 87. Derek White's going down. Grant Williams is up. And then on the other side of things, Toronto Raptors, they have, let's see what they've done around Jalen Brown. They have Jalen Brown, Scotty Barnes. So yeah, that could be a pretty nice duo. They re-signed Fred Van Vliet. They got Dinwiddie as well. So that's going to also open up some cap space for them. So yeah, I think it would be kind of fun if they went out and got Jalen Brown and were willing to move on from the two guys that have kind of led the franchise lately. So kind of a fun idea, but uh, let's go look at this rotation now that we've accomplished what we set out to accomplish. So let's see what this was about to look like and if we're still going to be a very good team. I honestly think 
this uh, is going to be a very good team still. Like, even with Jalen Brown gone, getting Siakam and OG in return is crazy. They actually have OG coming off the bench, which I find kind of wild. What is the proficiency right now? It must be a defense, right? Or no, it's a balanced. I still don't understand why Derek White's starting over OG. I'm probably going to change that. I would prefer to start OG. Derek White's contract is going to come in handy probably later down the line where we can uh, throw him in a trade where his contract is expiring. But let's force non-starter on him. That way, OG gets to start. And then Brogdon or Smart, I mean, they're kind of interchangeable. It really doesn't matter to me who starts. I like both of them. So Brogdon, OG, Tatum, Siakam, Robert Williams, Smart, White, Grant Williams, and then Metu. And again, we can start Derek. We can start Marcus Smart if we need to. Defensively, this lineup is kind of nasty. This is a pretty nasty defensive lineup. If we go to defensive proficiency, I wonder if this is at least four and a half. It's only four. Damn. Okay. Well, that's all right. So I will just stick with balance. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. And we will see how this team is doing. So hopefully with Siakam and OG still here, we're still a top team in the East. So MVP is going to go to Darius Garland. Webb and Yama is your rookie of the year. And San Antonio Christian Woods, six man, Yas defensive player. Then Garland's most improved. So he also wins MVP and most improved in the same season. Uh, bigger staff, coach of the year, and Brandon Harrison. So Cleveland is on, uh, you know, their tear right now. So we got Garland, Morant, Tatum, Giannis, and Jokic. All be a second team and all be a third team. All defense first team. We got Robert Williams making it, which is a W. And here's your all defensive second team. So we are the four seed in the East. And wow, you can't script it any better. We match up against Toronto, which of course we know we traded Jalen Brown to. So 33 points from Jason Tatum, 20 from Siakam, 6 and a half from OG, 16 from Brogdon off the bench, smart with 10, and then 10 from Derek White. Rob Williams, 9 and 11 in almost three blocks per game. Uh, Grant Williams, five points, and then Metu with four points. So not too shabby. Obviously, Tatum is the main guy here. Then Siakam not doing too bad. We're going to have to re-sign him and uh, OG this offseason. So that's going to be kind of steep. We'll see how that goes for us. But going in against Toronto in round one, this honestly should be a ton of fun. So they got Fred VanVleet, Brown, Barnes, Al Horford, Achua. Yeah, I mean, if you really look at the team, it's not too bad. So tomorrow, we'll probably be doing a Jalen Brown Raptors rebuild, by the way. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, definitely be excited for that i don't know why i said it that way but yeah we're doing that tomorrow so tatum or brown frevably barnes horford achua dinwiddie can we take them down similarly current round it would be ironic if we lost them we beat them in five though thankfully so uh i care i'm actually curious what did jalen brown average in toronto let's go take a look so if we take a look jalen brown averaged 33 points per game rightfully so no surprise there he became the lead guy there and hopefully he resigns but that's not really my problem we get to play cleveland now which uh have a bad feeling about this one we all know how good cleveland is and uh there's a good chance we get taken down they off or they got josh hart and they got mobley jared allen mitchell and garland pretty damn good team as we know game one we're down one to zero we lose by 10. game two we're down two to zero can we get one on them we do can we even it up we cannot can we beat them in five or can we get one more no they beat us in five so similar playoffs Cavs and grizzlies and you're gonna have the Cavs go on to win a championship so it is very clear and apparent what we have is not good enough to take down Cleveland. So we got to get back to work. We're going to have to resign Siakam. I'm going to have to resign OG. And then we're going to have to probably make another big move if we want any chance to compete with Cleveland in this video. Agency ahead of us. Siakam's money. OG and Ovi's money. Grant Williams have to resign. And then everyone else I'm not too concerned about. So let's start off with Siakam. We gave uh, Jalen Brown away for this. So obviously, I think it's safe to say we want Siakam. Let's see if that would get it done or if we're going to lose out on him. So we're good on Siakam. I'm going to give OG a deal as well, bring him back, and then Grant Williams and bring him back as well. So I'm going to offer all these guys money to bring them back. Don't want to lose either of them, so we got that done. Like I said, now we need like a big move this offseason, and uh, a guy I was thinking about was going all in on Damian Lillard, but we really don't have that good of assets. I could probably make a trade, go through here in 2K, uh, easily just by you know throwing guys at him but I don't know why the Blazers would want like a Brogdon or a Smart if they're trading Dame that doesn't make any sense so I'm not going to go that route I still am looking for like a really good point guard to replace I mean I don't necessarily I just feel like I need something overpowered like I just need something overpowered if I'm going to take down the Cavaliers it's just how it goes so I love Smart and Brogdon as uh, our point guards but if I can get something better I feel like I got to right I got to try so Derek White I'm probably going to have to use his money so if I can keep either Brogdon or Smart, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to try to trade one of Brogdon and then Derek White for something good. So if I just threw this out there right now in the trade finder, uh, actually, let's just do this because kind of looked earlier. I wasn't a big fan of anything. So Luca, Ja, Shea, Stephen Curry, Dame, Trey Young, Garland, LaMelo, uh, who is resigned, Halliburton, De'Aaron Fox, Kate Gunham, James Harden, Jalen Brunson. Brunson's on the last year of his deal. 
Uh, he could be kind of fun. We could bring him in. 88 overall point guard. Uh, that actually could be my guy, honestly. Jalen Brunson, someone I've never traded for. Lonzo Ball, also another guy that uh, could be fun as well. I think he'd fit exactly what we need. 14 and 9. Good shooting. So that's probably going to be my two targets. Lonzo Ball and Jalen Brunson. So let's even get either one of them. So I'm going to offer them Malcolm Brogdon to start this off. And I'm also going to offer Derek Lively and then a unprotected 2025 pick. And then let's say we also got like uh, Jalen Clark, who we just drafted in the draft, by the way. So uh, two young players, a first round pick for an expiring Jalen Brunson, just averaged 19 points per game. Let's see if they would do it. They do not agree, which is fair. I'll give you another future pick and they still don't agree. So maybe we can get Jalen Brunson another second. That's not going to move the needle for them. I don't understand. Or if I threw like Grant Williams in, I don't think that's doing it for him. Yeah. So no Grant Williams. So Brunson may not be somebody we can get unless if we just went crazy with the picks, but I don't see that happening. So can't get Jalen Brunson would have been cool, but I will try for Lonzo instead. So Brogdon lively and then two picks for, Bro for Lonzo. And we all know where Lonzo's career might be headed, but this is two years from now. So hopefully the man can make a comeback. I know he's not ready for next season, but we've already sent past that. So Brogdon lively one pick they don't agree fair enough i'll give you another one still don't agree and i will throw in grant williams so they can pay it and they agree so just like that we got lonzo ball and i think lonzo is gonna be the perfect point guard and he'll go up in overall as well and fits jason tatum's timeline on top of that so that was like the perfect get Derek white will uh play maybe we can throw him at the deadline if we need to trade him but we need a forward and i wouldn't mind a better backup center as well uh we have thomas bryant who would actually be kind of perfect. So I'm going to go for Thomas Bryant to be my backup center. Let's get him. And then can I sign a good forward as well? Doesn't look like it. So that's fine. We're going to roll with what we got. It's not going to be the greatest. Our backup forward situation is Sam Hauser. Not in love with it. Unless I could throw Sam Hauser and Clark at the wall and see. And then Matsu since I just traded a, or got a center. Let's try this. Uh, Trey Lyles could be perfect, actually. Derek Jones. So we got some good offers here. Exactly what I'm looking for. Milton, Bullock. Uh, Robson Earl Thibel and then yeah so I think I'm gonna go with that uh, Lyles trade so I'm gonna trade Metsu Hauser in a second for Trey Lyles I'm not getting the first because I don't think that's realistic at all so I'm just gonna do the Lyles one and boom just like that we got our backup four so let's go to player progression now unless this team is loaded up enough to go beat the Cavs I don't know if it's going to be but we're gonna try so Siakam Lonzo is up to an 87 smart still developing which is nice uh, he's not going down like crazy. And then at the deadline, we might make another move to see if Derek White's contract can get us anything better off of our bench. So my biggest goal here at the deadline was to upgrade the bench. And I think we're going to be doing that with this Nas Reed trade. We are trading a first round pick. We're trading Davidson, Derek White, a first for DiVincenzo and Nas Reed to upgrade our bench a little bit. I think both those guys would be incredible off our bench. Now, we got Smart. We got Alonzo starting, of course. Marcus Smart off the bench. Nas Reed, Lyles, and then DiVincenzo, which kicks Thomas Bryant out. So what I'm going to do is see if I can throw Bryant and Lyles for anything good. And that will be kind of my deadline. Let's see if anything pops up for these two guys. Uh, so we got Plumlee, Clark. If anything, nothing good pops up. I probably won't, you know, force anything. Jordan Nawara, Kogi. Uh, you got Jose Alvarado. So this gives us some depth. Tail and Horton Tucker. And a first, we're trading another first, though. I don't love the idea of that. So, THT would be nice. What's he doing on the season? 11 points on 40% shooting off the bench. Now, he is going to be playing back a point guard because I think we already have one in Smart. But if I try to do this without Watford and just these two for Taylor Horn Tucker, they agree. So, just like that, we get THT, which I feel good about. So, now our bench is a little upgraded. So, we got Nasri, DiVincenzo, THT, Smart. And what I can do is either move DiVincenzo to small forward, he's going to go up. And that is going to be the case. And then Smart and THT. Smart is going to go up as shooting guard. So we're going to do that. And then Smart might even start over OG. And he is. That's actually fine. So defensively, again, pretty nasty. I really like it. And our bench is well-rounded now. So hopefully with those few moves, that changed everything. I want to go look at defense again. And it's a four and a half with Smart, Lonzo, Siakam, Robert Williams, Jason Tatum. Do we move this to a defensive system? I don't know why you'd move your proficiency midseason, but watch me do it. So I'm doing this. And hopefully... With those moves, we're ready to go win a championship. Hopefully, anyway. Lonzo's brother, LaMelo, wins MVP. Booker's rookie of the year. So they have Booker and Webb and Yama. That's pretty nasty. Not going to lie to you. Christian Wood, six man in uh, LA. You got Chet, uh, defensive player, and then Nick Smith. Uh, most approved in Dallas. Quinn Snyder, coach of the year. So here's your NBA first team. Jason Tatum, Giannis Jokic, LaMelo, John Morant. Uh, all NBA second team. All NBA third team. And all defense first team. And all defensive second team. So uh, Tatum making it. And no Robert Williams this time. But the ultimate thing is, 
to be able to take down Cleveland, which they're the second seed. So we don't have to deal with them until uh, Eastern Conference Finals. But Atlanta is also another threat we haven't even really talked about because we haven't ran into them yet. But 33 points per game from Tatum, uh, 21 and a half from Siakam, 16 from OG, 13 from Lonzo, 12 from Nas Reed, and then 10, 10 from THT, uh, who is making 11 million, then 9 and 10 from Rob Williams with two blocks. All right. Time to lock it in. We got Charlotte in round one. Hopefully, we don't get eliminated in round one. Or I'm going to be pretty upset. They got DeRozan in Charlotte. They got Lamelo still. Cameron Whitmore, Richards. I think we should be able to beat them. So, when we cut around, we beat them in four. And now it's time to play Atlanta. Atlanta is one of those annoying teams. Uh, I say this every time. You guys know if you played 2K yourself, since the trade deadline, Atlanta has been so good in start today. I don't know what it is. I think it's the, you know, obviously the Sadiq Bay, him being an 84 overall in 2K. Their rotation is just well-rounded, and they're just really tough to beat. So hopefully we can do it. Game one, down one to zero. We even it up, though. Beat them pretty bad in game two. They're up two to one. We're going to lose to Atlanta, bro. Can we win game five? Big one. Come on. Okay, can we beat them in six? Yes, we can. Let's go. We took down Atlanta, and now it's time to end. Uh, this is what we built this roster for, to take down Cleveland. Can we do it is the question. They have Garland, Mitchell, Coro, Moby, Allen, Joe Val, Zach Collins, Josh Hart, Jordan Hawkins, Cody Zeller. This is what we built towards, man. This is the rotation we threw together to try to take down Cleveland. Can it get done? Game one, they're up 1-0. Game two, even it up, though. 118-110. We're not done just yet. Game three, 2-1. Two Game four, 3-1. to one. Can we beat them in five? Don't let them back in. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. We beat them in five, and now we get to play Oklahoma City. I would have rather played Memphis, to be honest with you. Oklahoma City made them blow. What was it like a three to one lead? It looked like for a second. Okay, see another team that is uh, just brutal to beat. Uh, but their roster doesn't look as overpowered as usual. So I think there's a good chance we could take them down. They have a guy named Shea. We have a guy named Tatum. So they should cancel each other out. Game one, we're up one to zero. Two to zero. Three to zero. Let's go, baby. Let's go, man. Champion ship brought to boston what is that the 18th one i don't even know at this point tatum is your finals mvp again i don't expect the celtics to have to trade jalen brown the whole world is freaking out about it but this was a fun little video because like i said i never get to rebuild the celtics because there's really no reason to but with the rumors around jalen brown right now uh which i think are you know kind of blown out of proportion this was a fun little excuse to rebuild the celtics today Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So tomorrow we're going to be doing a Jalen Brown Raptors rebuild. I totally understand if you hate the trade, but I'm still going to roll with it. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. The Scrushables, I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.